What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike and I'm back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a new feature that's coming soon to Apple Pay known as Apple pay later we're going to talk about all that in today's video but if you guys don't know what i do here on youtube i pretty much make personal finance content here on youtube so if you're interested in saving money investing your money budgeting credit credit cards apple pay stuff relating to your apple wallet i got you all covered right here on dollar mike so if you're interested in stuff like that make sure that like button and that subscribe button to see more content like it now let's talk all about apple pay later give you guys my thoughts give you guys my alternatives because i don't think it's the best but it's, it's an option so let's get right into the video Let's go. If you aren't aware and you've been living under a rock for a couple of years, then Apple Pay is pretty much a contactless payment. It allows you to make contactless payments with payment terminals. So you can go ahead and pay for stuff with your iPhone. You simply double click on the side and you can go ahead and boom, pay with Apple Pay. You can also do this with your Apple Watch, which I don't have on right now, or other devices, other iPhone devices or other Apple devices in particular. You can also send and receive money through Apple Pay Cash and that is on your wallet app on your iPhone or on your wallet app in general when it comes to using an Apple device. Now, Apple Pay Later is a new feature connected to all that and it's a little bit different. It's overall the buy now, pay later method, the B N pl method if you guys don't know you know now pretty much buy now pay later affirm uh carla and it's some other platforms that you guys have probably been aware of for a couple of years now where you can go online you can buy something right now and you can pay for it down the line you might pay a little bit up front and then the rest you can pay for over the next couple months weeks maybe a year or so it really depends on what platform you're using but Apple has gotten into the game with that, with their buy now, pay later service, known as Apple Pay Later. Launching with iOS 16 later this year, Apple Pay Later will allow you to do much of the same as every other buy now, pay later service. This optional feature will work by splitting your purchases into four separate payments. So when you go and buy something, say for instance, for $200, you'll go and pay $50 that first time when you go and buy it, you have that item in your hand now, and then two weeks later, you'll pay another 50, another two weeks later, you'll pay another 50, and another two weeks later, you'll pay that last 50, and that'll cover you for that $200 purchase that you made. So you'll pay about 25% up front, and the rest will be paid out every two weeks over a six week period. And this is all interest free and with no extra fees. Now I have my own reserved opinions when it comes to the buy now pay later model. I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's the worst. I think it's just somewhere in the middle. I don't really advocate for it, but if you use it and you use it the right way, I think it works out to your favor. But I do think it's better options out there, and that's what I want to talk about later on in today's video. I did make a video going over my thoughts on buy now pay later years ago, and I'm probably just going to reiterate some of that right here. I do have some new opinions on it, but yeah, let's get into that. Stay tuned to the end of the video because we'll get into my Apple Pay Later alternative, which I think is way better and it will actually make you a lot more money in the long term, and uh, my opinions on just the buy now, pay later stuff in general. But before we jump into that, it is a couple more things that were just announced today regarding Apple Pay Later. So just a couple of background things I just want to mention real quick. One of those things is that it's only going to be available in the United States uh, when it launches. I believe it launches this fall. So if you're trying to get it in, you know, um, UK or anything like that, as far as we know, it won't be available in the UK until a later date. So just United States right now. On top of that, Apple Pay Later will not be available for everybody. It, it will only be available for qualified people. So we don't know how Apple is going to do that whole qualified process. It could be completely different from like a basic credit check, maybe a soft pull, hard pull. I don't know what they're going to do. It's not going to be a hard pull. It's not a credit card. But we don't know how they're going to go about it. Regardless, it's not going to be available for everybody. So if you have a bad credit history maybe and you and or maybe you have a bad history with other buy now pay later services and they can see that history then you probably won't be able to use apple pay later coming this fall so just letting you know putting that out there we don't know the parameters yet so it's got to wait and see on that and lastly according to mac rumors right here apple pay later will have its own in-house financing known as apple financing llc so they won't use a different type of bank to go ahead and finance these purchases that people would make using apple pay later as far as we know i think that's how it's going to work it makes a lot of sense and apple has a lot of money to do something like that so cool now let's talk about the alternative to apple pay later which i think is tremendously better and if you're responsible with your money and actually do these buy now pay later services responsibly and not pay any interest or pay any extra late fees or anything like that then i think it makes way more sense to forget about this whole buy now pay later system because it doesn't earn you any credit and actually get yourself some credit by getting yourself a credit card and since you're watching an apple related video then why not just go ahead and grab yourself the apple card you know it makes a lot of sense i think it makes a lot of sense 
I got it right here. I have a lot of credit cards and I always advocate for credit cards as long as you can use them responsibly. The Apple card is no different. The Apple card will actually get you way better benefits than the Apple Pay later will get you and you actually earn credit on top of it. So let's go over the same exact example I used earlier in the video. Let's say you're making a $200 purchase and let's say the purchase happens to be an Apple purchase or you're buying an Apple product. In that case, you can go ahead and use the Apple card to buy that Apple product and get financing for free for up to 24 months to depending on what that product is and you don't have to make any interest payments or any payments at all pretty much for that entire 24 month period and you pretty much dodge that interest. Now on top of that you're also going to get an extra 3% cash back when you go ahead and use the Apple card to go ahead and complete that purchase. Now do I recommend paying it over a 24 month period or six month period or whatever? No, I mean if it's like $200 I would say just try to pay it off as fast as you can and make sure it's try to you know make sure you're paying the, the right payments every single month. But overall you're going to get more benefit out of this card and going ahead and getting the financing through this because it's free of course the card's free and everything like that's free and you can watch my apple card videos they'll be linked right up there but the card's free you're going to get financing for six to 24 months depending on what you buy how much you spend and on top of that you're also going to get another three percent back and you may say mike well two hundred dollar purchase let's do the math because you know i'm terrible at math like half the universe apparently anyway you're going to get three percent back on two hundred dollars which is six dollars and you may say mike six dollars whatever i spent two hundred dollars i'm getting six dollars back sure but that's just one single thing. If you're a big Apple customer like me personally, I buy a lot of Apple products. I invest in a lot of Apple stock. So personally for me, I spend a lot of money with Apple. So me spending $200 here, maybe another $1,200 on an iPhone, maybe $600 on an iPad, that all adds up and all that cash back just comes back to me as just an extra form of money that I can do whatever I wanna do with. Now for you, this credit card maybe may work out for you or it may not. You can go get another credit card and do the exact same thing. The point is, you're gonna get cash back for doing the exact same thing and possibly you'll have the ability to dodge that interest as well, depending on what credit card you get. I have tons of credit card videos, so definitely watch those videos to check those out. But that's just an option for you. On top of that, you'll be building your credit because you're using a credit card to make these purchases and you're being responsible with it by paying it off in full every single month like you would do on this card or you would do on any other credit card that you might go out in the wild and grab now personally i have 10 different credit cards and i use them for all different reasons to overall give me a whole bunch of cash back here maybe some free travel there but all in all this is just extra money back for me on stuff that i was gonna buy anyway and i'm receiving points and just extra money back for just doing the same thing i was gonna do regardless versus just using a debit card and not receiving anything back or using a buy now pay later system and not receiving anything back either so just an option for you i think it's the better option to go ahead and get a credit card either the apple credit card or just another solid credit card so do your research and find out which one might work best for you but i have a video for that so check that out but yeah that's what i think that's my two cents and as far as my opinion on the whole buy now pay later system honestly i think it's just a trap <laughs> i think it's a trap i mean people say credit cards are a trap as well and it all really comes down to you it all comes down to how responsible you are with your money how responsible you are when it comes to trying to manage your money with your finances with paying off debt with buying new purchases and making sure you actually can afford to buy something before you buy it because that's a thing people don't can't afford these things they just buy it and then they worry about it later and just pay extra money on top of it so yeah i think buy now and pay later is a trap i always thought it was a trap i never i did it like twice and i was just like well it just makes more sense to just use a credit card, so I just use the credit card. I personally feel like with buy now, pay later, it's just not enough punishment. Now, that's, this is just my opinion, so don't go in the comment section and crucify me. I don't got time for it, but I think it's not enough punishment. I think the whole point is if I go and miss a payment on my credit card or if it's a late fee or something like that, that negatively impacts my credit. And it also tells me like, well, why did you spend so much money on your credit card? You couldn't afford to make this two, four, five thousand dollar purchase. So why would you go and do that? Why? This is what I'm telling myself. So if I go and do that with buy now, pay later, because that's an option for a lot of things, especially when you go shopping for clothes or anything like that online now, it's an option. If I go and do that, then, you know, if I go and run up my buy now, pay later, and then I end up having to keep paying it or whatever i feel like even if i miss the payment sure i'll just pay a little bit extra late fee whatever you know i'll just push it to the side it's not going to ruin everything but if i miss my payments or don't make the minimum payment on my credit card or something like that then that's really going to impact my credit and actually really going to impact my life therefore offering up a great greater punishment and pretty much not having the right amount of discipline just it's just not there so that's my that's my thoughts on it you know let me know what you think down in the comment section below that's just how i feel i don't think it's enough punishment and on top of that i think buy now and pay later really locks people into being okay with debt 
it's not good to be okay with debt. There is good debt and there is bad debt and buy now, pay later and credit cards are bad debt. That's not debt that you wanna have. Good debt, home. Um, maybe a car, depending on how you can reinvest that car to make yourself some more money. Usually a car is bad debt, but it depends on depends on how you leverage it. But a home is good debt. Um, you know, maybe leveraging your money in a certain way might be good debt, depending on how you use personal loans or something like that for a business. But credit card debt, usually always bad debt, unless you're using it to make yourself even more money in the future, which the average person, I can promise you, is not doing. So that's all I got to say. That is buy now, pay later. That is the Apple car later spiel i guess you could say i didn't expect this video to be as long as it did but i really hope you watched it to the end just to get my opinion of it um let me know what you think of it down below will i be using by apple pay later um probably not i might just test it out for you know for the youtube for the channel and whatnot i mean but probably not because it's like why why you know if i don't get any anything out of it besides just having to pay it off i'm just gonna pay it off and just go about my day so yeah that's all i got Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know, like I said, down in the comment section what you think. Let me know what other content you would like to see on the YouTube channel, of course, at any given time. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for all the support. I think we're almost at 17,000 subscribers. Crazy stuff. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay positive. Love you all. Dollar Mike. Peace.